But bottom line is, this could happen tonight. I very much doubt that it happens tonight. But let me ask you this on our uh, our, our social media check in a little bit later in the show, brought to you by Steak and Main at steakandmain.com. Uh, do you feel that Ben Simmons will be a 76er after tonight? Yes or no? I feel like, yes, he will be a 76er after tonight because these deals are so crazy that I feel like it's just Daryl Morey trying to set the table for a deal down the line. I don't think he's serious about any of these asks. I don't think he's serious about any of these returns that he could be getting for Ben Simmons. I think he's simply trying to send a message to the league. We're not giving this guy away. We're not giving him away, and hey, we're in no rush to do it. If it was a little bit lower of an asking price, a little bit lower of a return, then I think it was a lot closer to being traded tonight, him being traded tonight. I don't think it happens. I think we're getting closer to it, but the word inevitable that Keith Pompey source used earlier in the week seems to be uh, more and more accurate when describing what the future has in store for Ben. And Woj dropped the Woj bomb yesterday, saying that uh, just a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks after the reports were that Ben Simmons and the Sixers were working together and how Ben didn't want to be uh, traded. He wanted to stay in Philadelphia and how the Sixers were going to give him an offseason workout regimen and all that stuff. After, after just a couple of weeks of that being the story, Woj puts the story out yesterday but that both Ben Simmons' camp and the 76ers are, quote, in step with trading the three-time All-Star out of Philadelphia. So now it seems like they're in cahoots to move Ben. Everyone's on the same page, and Ben Simmons uh, has already played his last game as a 76er. Uh, and I, as far as what the story will be after that about Philadelphia running a guy out of town, uh, that's fine. I, it's not even on my uh, radar just yet dealing with that argument, which is just stupid. But right now I look at it and I think the Sixers are telling me if they're that comfortable with trading Ben Simmons, they're telling me he's never going to develop into that legit MVP candidate that he is, I still think, very close to becoming. And the only reason he's not is because he can't get out of his own way and he can't expand his game. But if the Sixers are willing to trade him right now, that tells me that he's never going to get close to that. He's going to be this for the rest of his career. And I, I know there's other people that have made a, a similar comparison, but when it comes to Ben Simmons, it reminds me It reminds me a lot of what the Sixers went through with Andre Iguodala in terms of having a guy that was a great defender, having a guy, Andre Iguodala's case was he was always aggressive, always attacking the rim, and that's where he, sh- that's where he really shined in defense and attacking the rim. But he never really got better until his last year here in Philadelphia with three-point shooting, his his field goal percentage, his uh, three-point percentage, his uh, f- uh, free throw percentage as well, kind of hovered around the same uh, with the exception of the three-point percentage in that last year, like I said. And then I look at Ben Simmons, and obviously he's a great defender. He's great when he decides to be aggressive. Much better facilitator goes without saying than Andre Iguodala. Andre Iguodala wasn't a point guard. But there are certain things that Andre Iguodala was good at when he came here and they didn't really improve on. Same thing with Ben Simmons. Some things he was really good at, even great at, even a better player than Andre Godal, don't get me wrong. And he'll leave here not being, not improving upon what he was good 